Hey YouTube, Slide Newland I'm back with another video. Today we are going to be installing new scratchers for the upcoming season. First two years I ran cable like scratchers uh, and just was not a fan of them. They were constantly coming loose uh, and then they weren't working that well. And this year I want to give a huge shout out to One Rig Design. They hooked us up with new scratcher mounts um, and this is going to enable us to try new scratchers, more of a spring style scratcher. Uh, and mount it directly to the rail without any drilling. It's essentially a plug and play solution. Uh, one rig design also hooked us up with some rail guards. Uh, what this does is protects your rail from any debris, but really what it does is it, it, it holds the scratcher up when not in use. So let's check it out. We're gonna dive right into the install and then we'll show you the final product. All right, so how this works, uh, first you take your your spring scratcher it it gets installed in this little um, block right here this will then mount to the one rig design scratcher block using the hardware that they supply and then this gets installed onto the rail and is mounted with this back plate and two nuts to tighten that all together when installing the rear block, you want to match the angle right here with this block because it does matter what direction you put this in. So I'll get these started. Just hand tighten them. Because you don't have much space you could take the nut, put it in your open end. Now, let's torque it down. All right, that's on there nice and tight. That's on there good. That is not going anywhere. All right, that's how easy it is to install the scratcher. All right, next step is gonna be installing these rail guards right here. And so to do this, we need to remove the hardware off of these rail support, um, these plates right here. So we'll take this hardware off and then replace it with our new hardware. Um, we're looking at a T40. And then on the back, I'm not sure the exact size because of the powder coat, but it looks like a, four, uh, a 13 millimeter fits pretty snug. So I'm not sure if it's a half inch or a 13 millimeter. I'm going to start with the 13 and see if that works well. Um, yeah, so let's do it. Now we just torque this down. All right, and that's it. So how these work uh, when you're not using the scratcher, folds up right there and holds it back while you ride. So this doesn't bounce around and scratch your rails at all. And that holds your, uh, your scratcher up. All right, and that's it. So now you just repeat it on the other side and you're good to go. Whole thing, you'll probably do the whole thing in under a half hour if you have all the tools ready. So pretty in easy installation. All right, so now <clears throat> we're gonna repeat the installation on this side of the sled. And hopefully it'll be even smoother. Like I said on uh, the other side, it's important to have this angle matching up with this angle. That's the correct way to install it.
All right, that's it for this video. I uh, want to again give a big shout out to One Rig Design for hooking us up with the scratcher blocks uh, and the rail guards. Uh, installation was pretty flawless. Like I said, um, as close as to a plug and play solution that you can get, no drilling required on the rails at all. So hopefully that installation video would help you out if, if you plan on buying these and installing them yourselves. Um, yeah, so we're just waiting on snow and then we'll get out there on the trails. I do plan on giving you some footage on how these actually perform um, and hopefully give you a mid-season review. I'll be able to compare the cable um, cable style scratchers to the spring style scratchers and I'll, I'll give you guys an update on how the rail guard and the scratcher blocks are holding up. Um, so yeah, until the next one, see ya.